Hey everybody, welcome back to our neck of the woods. So in today's video, we're just gonna do another nice, short, sweet video. And as the title says, we're gonna try and get all of our diamond piers in. So that way we can get working on the back deck and finally give us an opportunity to get up there and put our windows and doors in. All right, so if you're not familiar with diamond piers, what are they? Why are we using them? Basically, they're a pier foundation system. And the reason why I like using them, they're a little bit more expensive overall, but the amount of time that you have to put into them uh, really saves on labor. So if someone else was doing it for you, you end up saving a ton of money. So basically, that's what they are. They're just solid blocks of concrete. They're kind of in the shape of a diamond. And the point is, uh, these basically only have to sit almost on the surface. You only have to go down on these particular ones about five, six inches of dirt removal. And once you set the pins down going in through each side and going out the bottom, as you can see down through there, all four of them go out and kind of like almost like a pyramid pattern. Once those are set, you're done. So with literally within like five to 10 minutes, you can have a pier placed, set your wooden post on it, and you can already start building. So while they may be more expensive, uh, today they were running about $161 a piece. These ones are the Diamond Pier 5050s. So it's a 50, fa uh, 50 pound piece of concrete with 50 inch long poles. And for my soil out here, I believe that holds up about 3,200 pounds each. So as you can see, we already have two set over here for the porch. So each one of those is holding up over 3,300 pounds of weight. And on those particular ones, we're really just uh, holding up the roof there. The deck is gonna have its own support system, even though technically that is tied in where it kind of supports the deck. As opposed to on the front of the house, the uh, porch piers, those I believe are a 75, like 68. So 75 pound piece of concrete with like a 68 inch long pole. And those are holding up the porch only. Yes, the porch is tied into the six by sixes just like they are here, but uh, that diamond pier out front is for the porch and the porch only due to the weight restrictions and stuff that we we're having to do because that front porch is so large but now as for these ones back here again those will be tied into the porch they're kind of holding up the weight but kind of not i am going to put some extra in for reinforcement but back here on this porch right here we're actually going to have three of them which is overkill but then again I don't want the uh, outside ledger here going such a great distance by only putting two out here. So I'm gonna put one in the middle also. Again, overkill, but this deck with six by six posts is gonna be able to hold up anything that you can throw at it. Now getting started here, very simple. I just set up a string line. So we're in line with the posts down there. Made sure I was the same distance off the house. We got this set up on this outside edge here. And guys, this is literally only the amount of dirt you're removing. Just a few handfuls to get this thing up to the bottom rim here of this diamond pier. And the reason why you may end up spending more money on the diamond piers, but you end up saving on your own back breaking work and labor is because if we wanted this deck to be holding up 6,600 pounds with over 3,000 pounds, of uh, footage or uh, load capacity. I probably would have had to have dug a big enough hole that I would have needed a skid steer to rent with an auger bit to go down like below the frost line around here, I think it's 32 inches. So we would have to have gone more like, or maybe it's 38, but we would have had to have dug down like 40 some inches. You're digging all of those holes. Then you're getting pounds and pounds and pounds and packages of concrete, spending time mixing it up, buying a sano tube, putting in rebar down in there, then wet setting your posts, and then you're waiting several days for the concrete to harden before you can even set your first post. This literally, yes, it may be more expensive after the skid steer and the concrete and the rebar, although they may work out to be the same, especially if you're paying someone else to do it. But within five minutes, probably less, two and a half minutes, I pulled that dirt out there, set that right there, uh, use the level to make sure that it's level each way, and now I'm ready to set my pins. You cannot beat that installation time frame. 
And again, with the 3,200 down, uh, pounds down and something like maybe 4,000 or pounds more that they will not pull up out of the ground, you absolutely cannot beat the strength that these things can do. Now, unlike my other videos, uh, I did go ahead and get a jackhammer, although it's not really a jackhammer, it's a drill with a hammer setting. They told me it would work at the rental place. I'm not that confident, so I'm probably gonna have to pound these in with the sledgehammer. But uh, I'll go get some electricity right now. We'll set it up and see how much it can hammer. But luckily, 50 inches long is not that big. And those poles are also a lot smaller than like the 75s or the 100s or the 200s. They just keep getting bigger and they keep getting longer when you have a stronger pier. But uh, these guys are pretty thin, only 50 inches down. So even if I have to slam them in with a sledgehammer, it is a heck of a lot easier, easier than those 75s that I had to do before. All right, so the bag kit does come with caps that you can glue on when you're done. So that way water doesn't get down in there. And then it also has these plastic points that kind of help get it into the soil. But these are really for like a depth gauge. The inspector can drop his tape measure down in through the pole and it'll bottom out on the bottom of this cap knowing that you've gone down enough distance. But again, that sharp tip there does help go through the soil a little bit. All right, like I said, I'm not too confident in this thing. I don't think it's gonna have a lot of hammering power. Probably gonna have to be at this for a minute, but at least it's not as back breaking. Uh, the only other jackhammer they had was like 60 plus pounds and there's no way to hold it up. It's the one that pretty much just only goes down on the ground. This is like a little uh, hammer drill with a hammer setting. So it's probably just gonna give little baby taps at a time, but uh, I don't know, the best we can do is just try it out and see what happens. Can't even tell. I need to mark one maybe and watch it. All right, so it's working. That's just gonna take forever. Let me get some hearing protection and uh, hopefully the goal is we won't round the top too much. But with that bit being a little bit oversized and not really made for this, uh, I think it's still gonna mushroom out a little bit. So that was also the other thing I wanted to avoid was mushrooming out the top a little bit. I was trying to avoid that so I wouldn't have to like grind it or uh, chop a little bit off. But I think either way, we're gonna have to do that. Yeah, like I thought, not really working. So we're gonna have to go old school and just smash these in. Uh, but at least I'm not as tired. So we can do probably halfway in on each one. And then I just gotta smash them in the rest of the way. All right, one and done, six more to go. And then the way these things work that we're using, Diamond Pier gives you the washer and the nut. You go ahead and sit your plate on, and it's nice that you have adjustability in every direction that it's oversized. So whichever way we put this, for example, it can go right there. We can use the washer that the thing came with and the washer the Diamond Pier came with. 
then you simply just bolt that down put your cap on and now you're ready for a six by six and if we check our string line it's pretty much perfect it's a little bit over but these are also bent out so once we put the six by six in here and we screw this together those winglets will come in and we'll actually touch that line and then again we still have adjustability and then obviously we siliconed and uh, glued these down so on the top of the post there's glue in there and then around the bottom ring and then I kind of seal out uh, in between the rubber cap and the concrete itself and now that's not going anywhere all right so let's get some measurements we can do two more right here again i wish that drill was working stronger than it was but uh is what it is like i said hammering those in isn't that bad a little bit of a workout for it today but let's get these two more sets so this lower porch can be done and then eventually we can just go purchase the lumber and we can start knocking all this out All right, so two down, five more to go, but I think I'm gonna wrap it up today here. Uh, I did call another rental place and they do have something in between. Like I said, what I was using was more like a drill with a hammer setting. And then they only stepped up to like a 66 pound jackhammer with like dual handles on each side that you can only go straight down into the ground. Uh, this other place has like a 35 pounder that has a trigger in the back and a front handle just like that drill and it's only an impact only so it should have a lot more force and power so i will go and get that in the next couple days to finish out these fives to at least show you guys that there's a better way to install these uh, but right now looking good another beautiful thing about diamond piers you don't have to worry about the heights of each one like that one can be at a lower elevation than this one you're just obviously going to cut your post uh level so that everything sits on top of there and then those triple beams and everything will sit on top of there so it's going to be way easier of an install than i think other doing traditional type settings so i got one more to put right here i'll probably dig out the dirt or actually no i think i don't think i will because i think it's going to rain in the next two days so uh we'll be back in the next couple days i'll get that hammer and then we'll finish out all of these and then i'll probably go and get the posts at least uh purchased and maybe even these guys but uh hang tight and i'll be back then on a side note i thought i was done for today but aaron says there's a bunch of ants under this pile of mat right here we have literally been taking off layer by layer of mat and just millions of ants all over them Thankfully, I got this tall star spray, so it was kind of locked and loaded, and I've actually been kind of afraid that the tall star was just working against like spiders and stuff and nothing else. I didn't think the carpenter ants would really take effect to it. Like maybe their exoskeleton or something is stronger than others, but just as she's pulling it off and I'm spraying, uh, it only takes maybe five minutes or so and they're all dead. But every single layer, it's like an apartment building every single layer has another home although not as bad as it was uh in the top few layers but we literally made them an apartment building and they're just absolutely going nuts but we're gonna spend the rest of the night doing this while we get all this cleaned up and these things killed hey everybody welcome back it's been a few days later i went ahead and got that uh hammer drill or the, the actual jack hammer but i also re-rented a hammer drill because my bolt showed up to go ahead and put on the uh, back ledger board against the ICF house and this hammer drill or the hammer setting on this drill is just not working. Uh, it's millimeter by millimeter and this thing literally will burn your hand within one bolt and we have like 19 more bolts to go. So we got both of those tools today. I'm gonna go ahead and just quickly drill those holes real quick because that should just be a lot easier and then we'll go ahead and dig the ground up but uh, it's a little windy today, so hopefully you can hear me. But Aaron and I did get some work done. We started framing out where the concrete is going to go, all the way down there for the sidewalk. And then you're gonna go up the stairs for that lower deck, and then more stairs to get up onto the higher deck. And then the higher deck goes all the way down there. And then I also just kind of preset these beams here. Went ahead and got a measurement off of the house out to here, out to here 
made sure they're level with each other. And that was just a six by six I had lying around. So I gotta go get one more for there. And then we've got four more diamond piers to do. So we'll need six by six, it's pretty tall. Uh, to get up to this height for this one and then the other three down here and then of course as you can see we went ahead and laid our filter fabric to kind of hold this stone up and we put some stone under here just so uh, years down the road anything under this deck doesn't get all soggy and nasty to walk in here and we could have more storage space in here and it actually really should cut down since we still don't have the gutters on uh, it really is cutting down on having the erosion happen down along where all the gutters are over here and over here. Eroding, eroding, eroding. Where it just keeps pitting out the dirt every time I bring in another bucket and smooth the dirt out. After one rainfall, it's just completely pitted out. So now this can pretty much stay like this with not even getting the gutters on for a long time. But let me set up real quick. Let's knock out some holes up here with that actual real hammer drill and let's see how easy it is to drill through the concrete. Well, scratch that idea. I uh, just busted it out. Was gonna put a few more extra in here because those uh, bolts in there, they only come 20 in a pack. So I was just gonna throw in here for some extra support because the taper ICF blocks are actually up here. So because these aren't tapered, I just wanted more bolts in these, more like 16 to 12 inches on center but they gave me the wrong freaking bit. So the hole that I just drilled right there, which is actually nice, this hammer drill in that bit went in there in about, no joke, probably four and a half seconds versus probably 10 minutes with my actual DeWalt or uh, Milwaukee uh, hammer drill. But that bolt just slid right in the hole because they gave me too big of a bit and I didn't check the size. He just pulled the half inch drill bit from the bin, but that is not a half inch drill bit. So that bolt right there is worthless. So I'm definitely not gonna over drill any of the holes down over here. So it's a good thing I started down there to begin with, but let's go ahead and get some diamond piers set, set up a string line, and then we'll actually see what the uh, actual jackhammer does to set these pins in place. All right, another diamond pier set. This one here is gonna take up the load where this one kind of extends out a little bit like a cantilever. Again, we're still kind of supported there on that six by six over there. But this is just where the decks are going to start and we'll have a little bit more uh, support here and i'm going to set another one up in the middle just so these six by sixes here aren't taking all of the weight not to mention it's not a good secure system yes we've got some grks in here and we also have these brackets with a freaking five eighths of an inch bolt running all the way through so this bracket isn't going anywhere but uh we still want more reinforcement so we're going to put a pier here We'll have that rely kind of on that bracket over there a little bit. And then again, we'll start with piers here on down and we've got uh, two more to do down there, kind of around eight or nine foot on center for these piers here. But this thing is not lightweight, so I can't say that this is gonna be maybe easier than the jackhammer, but uh, I don't know, wish me luck. Let's see how it goes.
right everybody there you have it 35 pounder works no problem granted i do have kind of hard clay out here so sand etc maybe a little bit easier or if you got other type of soil maybe a little bit harder if you're gonna have anything bigger than that though you're gonna need two people for sure and that bit is not 100 percent made for this but uh, i will say this the uh, tops of these are a thousand times less uh mushroomed out than they would have if you have done it with a, uh, a sledgehammer so i'll probably drive these in with a sledgehammer because the bit did bottom out again that bit's not 100 percent made it's a little bit deeper it's a little bit rounder but uh, I probably won't have to round or cut these at all to be able to put the caps on. But I do have to hit it probably another inch down in before I can silicone the cap on and uh, call this one done. But uh, that's that took me six minutes on video here, plus a five or so minutes it took me. So again, you're looking at like a 10 minute job per pier and you're already setting posts that day and starting to do these things up. So uh, if you're looking at any other system, honestly, I wouldn't look any further because again, by the time you rent a skid steer, an auger bit, truck over all of the concrete, put some rebar down in there, you're just way more expensive or at least way more backbreaking and labor money into it. So uh, I don't think anything can beat this system. So I'm gonna wrap up here, guys. I'm gonna put in another three over here down today. And then on another date, we'll go and get our six by sixes. We'll start putting our posts up and then we'll start running our two by tens across and getting all of those set up. But for now, you guys at least can see once again how the diamond piers are done. A better, easier, faster way to set up these piers. And again, that's just an awesome, easy system that you guys can use. So there you guys have it. So if you liked the video, hit the thumbs up. Comment down below if you guys got anything to say. Hit us up on Neck of the Woods on Instagram 2020. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Till then, take care.